Part of what makes a superhero iconic is their suit. The suit becomes a synonymous part of a hero's identity, from its colors to its emblem. And a memorable suit goes a long way in making a hero, well, memorable. From a marketing standpoint, it does a huge job in establishing a character's longevity. But of course, when you have a hero who's been around since the golden age and wildly successful to boot, you're bound to get some serious suit variations. And today, we're returning to one of those heroes' many suit variations indeed. The Top 10 Alternate Bat Suits, Part 2. And at number 10 is the Batman of Zurin R. Starting off this list, we've got a bat suit that belongs to a bat alternate, the Batman of Zurin R. So, this Batman is actually an alien from a planet called Zurin R that Bruce first encountered in 1958 in Batman 113. And his suit is basically an inverted version of the regular bat suit. Surprisingly, this character, or at least its influence, survived past the Silver Age, appearing in Batman 678, but as a hypnotic trigger that was planted in Bruce's mind when he was quite young. And when it is triggered, he creates a suit that is a throwback to the original. Batman of Zurin R and looks like a modernized version of the 1958 suit. And at number 9 is the Digital Justice Bat Suit. From this 1990 graphic novel, we've got a futuristic Batman who isn't even Bruce Wayne. By this point, Bruce is long gone, and James Gordon, the grandson of THE Commissioner James Gordon, becomes Batman to take on a sentient computer virus crafted by the Joker years and years ago before he died. This bat suit has a Tron esque feel to it, with a more modernized emblem on Gordon's chest, with mild green accents to help tie in thematically with the story. In at number 8 is Bat Baby. Who said overalls can't be heroic? From Batman 147 in 1961, we've got some Silver Age glory for you guys with Bat Baby. Or rather, Bat Toddler, because he is the age of a toddler, but they call him Baby anyway. So, we've talked a lot about this hilarious issue in our other videos, which has become one of the more memorable narratives from that time period, for all the wrong reasons, of course. Long story short, DC's success with the Superman Super Baby storyline got them inspired to do the same with bats, resulting in him being shot by a rogue scientist who was using a speakerphone ray gun object thing that turns him into a toddler. Bruce is all like, well I can still fight crime, and dons some child sized threads since his suit is too large for him. Now, from innocent to completely terrifying, next up at number 7, we've got the Suit of Sorrows, Man Bat Edition. So, this suit is a modification of the original Suit of Sorrows suit, back from 2008, except with a monstrous twist. So, this suit appears in Batman Incorporated number 12, when Talia Al Ghul unleashes an army of half bat, half human ninja monsters. Yeah, gotta love comics. Anyway, in order to properly take Talia on, Bruce decides, hey, I'm gonna inject myself with Man Bat Serum to even out the playing field here. And he also puts on the Suit of Sorrows, which has been modified with a jetpack. Pack, some stealth tech to be invisible, and the addition of metal arms that extend, making his reach pretty reachy, and all the more terrifying to look at. Next up at number 6 is the Bat Bot from the animated series. This exoskeleton suit was used to take on Bane in the animated series, and it gave bats additional strength and heft. He even had a jetpack that provided a minimal, yet useful amount of flight. While this suit in this episode manages to fail the Cape Crusader, Bane pretty much smushes it, he does manage to use that great ingenuity of his to zap Bane with a live cable. That being said, the suit is still pretty impressive, and if he were fighting someone who wasn't Bane, it would probably perform much better and do some serious damage. And at number 5 is the Kingdom Come Bat Suit. From Earth 22, we've got a Batman from the near future, who is permanently crippled by Bane and Two-Face, and because of it, has completely abandoned his personal alias and has gone full-blown Batman. This bat suit rehabilitates Bruce's body, giving him the ability to still participate in combat, now with superhuman strength to boot. The suit is also armed with lasers and gives him the ability to fly. He even has his own personal Batman robot army, who look pretty slick as well. And at number 4 is Elliot Ness his vigilante costume from Scar of the Bat. Based on the real Elliot Ness, a prohibition agent who was famous for hunting down Al Capone, this Batman of the same name is a fictional representation of him, who later took up the vigilante persona so he wouldn't have to go after bad guys and stay within what was legal. Makes sense. While the cowl is all too familiar in style, Elliot wears a badass blue trench coat and wields a machine gun, whooping some serious gangster butt. And at number 3 is the DC 1 million bat suit. This story takes place in the 853rd century, so you can imagine that the tech on this suit is exponentially better than the regular suit that we're used to. It's sort of a dream suit. Stronger exoskeleton, fireproof, collapsible, and a whole bunch of new stealth based tools like camouflage technology, hologram protection, and built in wings. Oh, and the bat computer is built into the suit. 
Plus, this version of his cowl has a very Black Panther esque feel to it, with it being a full head mask as opposed to just one that conceals everything but his mouth. In at number two is the Gotham by Gaslight Batsuit. Set in 1889, Gotham by Gaslight features a barrel chested burly Batman who attempted to stop Jack the Ripper. Along with a handful of other familiar faces, Batman gets the late 19th century treatment with a long dark cloak fitting of the times, some leather pants and boots, and what appears to be a leather cowl. The suit is a fan favorite, and actually appears as either a cameo or a skin in a bunch of DC video games, including Batman Arkham Origins and Lego Batman 3. And finally in at number 1 is the Batman vs Predator Batsuit. From the 1991 Batman vs Predator series by Dave Gibbons and Andy Kubert, Bruce puts together this suit in order to take on a foe literally out of this world. Yeah, the Predator. This suit is designed to help Bruce take on this foreign enemy, and features so Sonar to put him on par with the Predator's invisibility capabilities, and armor that can withstand the Predator's blades. Also looks pretty damn cool. Alright, there we have it guys. Which Batsuit is your favorite? And which one did you like the least? Let us know in those comments below. And of course, if you dug this video, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. We'd love for you guys to stick around. But for now, I've been Kelly Pally and this has been Top 10 Nerd. Catch you guys in the next one.